Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you some possible fixes for Akasha Dirt Blaster Lance. So if yours is suddenly behaving like this... So if you can see, it's not spinning properly and also the Akasha keeps cutting in and out. And it's not a problem with the machine, it's definitely just a problem with the Lance. Right, that's that one. Let me show another example of a failing one. And can you hear, it's kind of, uh, the caster itself is like hunting, isn't it? And also that's not working properly. Hopefully we can fix that. So what we need to do is get an 18 millimeter spanner and you need to undo this end here by turning it counterclockwise. Now I've already undone this numerous times so it's easy to do. First time you do it, it is very hard. So you're gonna to have to clamp this side here on the flats and then turn this here. Or you could use, for example, a spanner there and then your socket or your spanner this side and turn it counterclockwise like that and you will see it will give. So now keep on undoing it. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that you can see daylight all the way through there to make sure that there's no blockages in the actual tube itself. Now when it comes to this part here, we're going to get some pliers and we're going to pull out this section. So get the pliers and just pull it out like that. You will see that the O-ring has come out with it. Obviously don't lose that. If it's not on there, don't panic. It might well be on that part there. Okay. So now, if you have a look, first things first is make sure that all these holes are nice and clear. So this is where the water comes down and basically it gets forced through these tiny little holes and you can see they're all at an angle there. See there's one there, yeah. So there's four of them. So make sure that none of them are blocked up with, for example, any old leaves or anything, because if you've left this stored over winter, they might have got in this side here if this is not attached to the actual Kasha washer. So that all looks good. Now we want to take out this part here. Now, this is the part that normally fails. So what happens is, this is the thing that's constantly turning like this. So you can see the nozzle in the middle here, and this is turning like this to give the jet that effect where it's spinning. And because this ball bearing is constantly rushing around this bit here, like so, getting forced around by the jets of water, it can cause wear, not on the ball bearing itself, but the plastic underneath. So if you have a look now, you can see that the ball bearing is barely sticking out from the top at all, and that's the problem. Overall, the whole thing has been shortened, and that's why it's not working properly. So get yourself a very small needle, or a very small, tiny, tiny screwdriver, put it down the side, and force out that ball bearing. Now if you have a look in here, you will see that the ball bearing just sits on these tiny, tiny, little legs here, 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 and here. And it's these legs that wear down. So what we can do is we can put a little washer in there to build up the height of the ball bearing. Now while you're here, just before you do that, make sure that there's no scale build up or anything going down here. Make sure it's nice and, uh, nice and clear. This one is just water there. That's why it looks kind of blocked up. But uh, there you go, you can see it's nice and clear now, yeah? And also make sure the nozzle is clear as well. If it's not clear, then obviously free it up using something smaller than the whole of the nozzle, because you don't want to make that too big, otherwise it's not going to be as powerful when it comes out. So now all we're going to be doing is getting a little washer, and we're going to be placing this in the top there. So I'm going to place it in there, drop it down, just make sure that it is sitting on top of the legs, it needs to be completely straight. Which is a little bit fiddly to do. It's one of those things where sometimes you get it first time. There we go. Okay, so you can see now, it's sat there nicely on the legs, yet it will still allow the water through it to go down underneath. And now, if we pop the ball bearing back in, you can see now it's sticking out more yet it's still allowed to move freely and it doesn't come out. So what we've done is we've increased the overall length of it, which will now fix the problem. So the little washer that I've used in this one is 6.1 millimeters across here, internal diameter of 2.6 millimeters, and a depth of 0.5 millimeters. Now you might find if you've got more wear that you might need it slightly deeper. For example, 0.6 or 0.7 millimeters. Again, if you have less wear, you might need it 0.4 millimeters. So remember, it's not gonna be a perfect fix in all different solutions, but what you can do is, 
If that doesn't work or it's not working well enough or you can't find a washer, instead of using the washer technique, you can actually push the nozzle out a little bit further and that will increase the length of it. So let me just show you that now. In my instance, the, the washer works fine. Get the nozzle out, we're gonna use a large paper clip, which is too big for the hole here. And we're gonna put it down. It has to be small enough to get through there, but bigger than the actual hole of the nozzle. So we're gonna put it through one of the holes there, and we're gonna forcefully push it down until the nozzle comes out. There we go, okay? So now the nozzle is completely out and we can give that a nice good clean. And let's say now, if you haven't got a washer, give it a go like that. Have it sticking out this much, and you can see how much wider it's become when you put the ball bearing back in, all right? And then hopefully that will fix the problem. If not, push it in a little bit more. Play around with it until you get the sweet spot. But with, uh, with me now, I'm gonna push it in fully home, and I'm just gonna use the washer. And then I'm just gonna show you it working. There you go, went in first time that time. Right, ball bearing on top, drop that into here, drop that into there like so. Put the O-ring back in, make sure it's seated nicely, and then we're gonna do it up just by hand, and then we're gonna just nip it up at the very end. Right, okay, so that's done by hand now, and now I'm just gonna put the spanner on one end, this on the other end, and I'm just gonna force it round a bit more. Right, I'm happy with that. Now let me show you it working. Okay, so now if you watch it now, you will see that the rotation is back. So there you go, hopefully that will help you out. So there's a numerous things you can try there and don't be disheartened if you don't get it first time because you might have to do minor adjustments. For example, if you find that it's coming out, so it's the, the machine's working fine, but let's just say it's coming out like a normal lance, not spinning, then it might be ever so slightly long. So just shorten it a tight, tiny bit and hopefully you will get it where you find that spot where it works. So I don't know what the tolerances are, but they're quite small, but with a little bit of trial and error, you will get it. So that is it, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.